everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another The Lego Movie Set review, and that is 70818, the Double Decker Couch. This set is ages 7 to 14. It comes with 197 pieces, and as I mentioned, it is in the Lego Movie theme. Let's take a look at all five of the minifigures that this set comes with. First of the five minifigures here is Lord Business. Here on the front, he's got like his happy face and with his business tie and suit and his cool hairdo. He's just got very plain pants. We'll turn him around here to show that he has no back printing on him. He's His head is kind of just, it's like that box head, the box hair, and you can see it's continuing at the back with the second color. And we'll take his hair off so you can see his alternate face, alternate face, sorry. And he's like really confused, like what's going on here? I'm not really sure. So that is Lord at Business. Here we've got Benny. Benny's much like the other 1980-something classic space minifigure that we get in the uh, Benny spaceship set as well as the uh, Metal Beard Sea Cow set. But his face is actually different. He, in this little set, he's holding a hot dog. Not really sure why. We're going to turn him around here to show you his classic space pack. And we're going to take his helmet off now to show his alternate face. He's like a, he's, I think it's an embarrassed face. I'm not really sure. But it doesn't look like a spaceman face, except for the fact that he's got that huge classic Benny smile. And then on the front here, I forgot to talk about his face, but it's a really, it's a big, like, happy face. And I'm not sure what expression that is used for, but he's very, very happy. That's it for Benny. Here is Unikitty. This is the very first time that LEGO has ever made a sitting Unikitty. It is also the first time, I believe, that LEGO has continued printing from the Unikitty face onto the eyebrow expressions. That's what she looks like there. And as I said, she is sitting. This is the stance she's sitting in. This is what it looks like from the back. Unikitty also comes with an alternate face, and this is when she's watching her Cloud Cuckoo Land sink, and this is a very, very sad face compared to the other one, which is just kind of upset. This one is extremely sad and can make any cat lover cry. Emmett here with the standard Emmett at torso and Emmett leg that come in every Lego movie set pretty much. This Emmett has this really awesome new printing printed waffle as you can see there as he's moving it around because I hit the table of mistake. And Emmett's got this really confused look on his face. It's, I find his eyes are really small and I don't know if I like the face. He's got the classic Emmett uh, hair with the little piece sticking up. And if there was a bit more hair sticking up, I could call this myself. We're going to take his head off and look at his alternate face. And it is a very sad face because he too is watching Cloud Cuckoo Land go down, down, downhill. And I think that's what the set is kind of based off, watching that. But there's also a couple other components used in the set. We'll put his hair back on and then show you the front. And that's all for Emmett. Finally, last but not least, we have the Vitruvius minifigure. He's got his his um, pole here, you know, his wand with the huge glowstone at the end of it. He's got a ghost costume on because he's dead. Um, you can see that beca because it's a ghost costume, he actually can't have his dress. So this, this is actually a printed brick here, which is very cool. Lego never made the printed brick like that. And he's got his cape on the back. This is what it looks like from the back. This is a new mold, obviously, because he's got his headband. Kind of looks like hair from the back. And his head is just a uh, black, black Lego head. And now we'll take a look at what he looks like glowing in the dark. He looks very cool glowing in the dark. He glows up quite well. You can sort of see him and his gemstone there, but you can't see pretty much any of his cape or anything like that. There, This is a very cool... I like the I really like the glow in the dark Lego pieces. Now let's take a look at the rest of the set. First things first in this review, we're gonna check out Emmett's car. So Emmett's car is very much like the smart car. You actually could get this at Toys R Us if you went on the day after the Lego movie premiere, January February 8th, 2014, almost a year ago, as I'm filming this when the set came out in January 2015. But there are differences. I'm not going to list all the differences because that's in another video, but I'm just going to show the features that this set has. This set has the removable roof and in here room for one minifigure. It's got the iconic radio thing from the Lego movie where the Everything is Awesome song is first played. 
It's got double doors on both sides, which easily break apart because they are not attached to anything on the top, just only attached on the bottom. At the very back here, with besides the slopes, he's got room. Emmett's got room to put his his hard hat when he's done the job for the day or when he's going to the job. Very much like the smart car here. And on the very front, we have the two windshields along with the windows here, here right here at the back. And of course, we have the dark windshield up here. Not a ton to do with this car. Why don't we just put Emmett in here? We'll remove his waffle. Put him in the car and drive him away. He looks very cool. Get this waffle out of the way before they uh, drive all over it. Now, let's take a look at what you've all been waiting for. The double-decker couch. So here's the double-decker couch. It is very cool. I have wanted this built for so long now. I just never, I was thinking about piecing it together, but I never did, and now it's finally in an awesome set. On each on the side here, the top and bottom, we have the white mugs from the Lego movie. On the sides here, we have a ladder for the people to get up. You can put pretty much as many minifigures as you try. I don't know how many you can fit on, but you can put as many as you really want to fit on here, I guess. But they are, it is, the couch is limited to just two seats, two actual studded seats for minifigures to be securely fastened on. But you could fit more or less if you, would cho if you choose. You could also, if you wanted to, exchange those out for tiles and make no studs. Here's what the bottom looks like on the double-decker couch, and we're actually going to turn it around here. And this is what the back, look, the back looks like. These are actually not here for anything in particular. They're just here for show because these, this part could not be there, but it is pretty much there to, to use, like it's functioning. The back here has got these little supports to hold it up. Thanks a lot for watching this awesome set review. My thoughts on the set are, I think it's a very cool set. Not a lot of play features, but there are five very cool minifigures along with the double-decker couch, which everybody wants because it's only in one other set. And of course, Emmett's car. Very cool. Slight differences though from the Toys R Us car. I'm actually going to make a comparison video on that. So if you want to see that comparison video, I'd really appreciate it if you check out my channel. But I think this is a cool set. Wish they could have done some things differently with the couch just to make it a bit more sturdier. Like such as the, how it can move here and stuff. Move up and down. Wish they could have fixed that. But other than that, this is an great set and I'm really I really like the price point not gonna name the price point for every country or say mine specifically because every country's price is different but this is a very cool set for the under $20 value five minifigures like if you three dollars a minifigure alone takes the set up to fifteen dollars plus you get all the other really cool features so that's really great so thanks everybody for watching this review by Brickliver18. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. If you have any suggestions, comment, or you just want to say great review, that's fine. Don't forget to like this video, share this with your friends, and of course subscribe. You can also answer the today's video question, if I have one, in the description. The question can be found in the comments below. I like reading your answers and so does everybody else. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Go check out all my other videos. And as I said, have a great day.